Good evening, this is Big RW again, and thank you for watching and returning with me to do some more cool geeky stuff with Linux or whatever, you know? Um, I haven't been making as many videos as I usually do, and that's because I've been going through a tragedy within my family. Um, from when the tragedy happened to now, I'm doing a lot better. Now, in this video, it's a short one. The program, I'm, the two programs I'm going to be using is um, GNU or News Parallel and a program called Either Way. Now, GNU or people like to say New Parallel is a program that replaces ARGs. You can take a list, you can take multiple files, and you can um, pipe them into this program and run programs alongside with it to do required jobs on large instances of files, maybe data sets, um, what have you. The this program, particularly, is more powerful than Zargs or backticks, and also it allows you to distribute the jobs amongst different computers. Um, so you get to use a large quantity of CPUs if you know what you're doing. Now, the other program is called Either Wake, and this is a cool program too. Either Wake is a um, Wake on LAN program. It sends a magical packet to a computer's MAC address and obviously wakes it up, turns on your computer remotely. Now, you can take the GNU Parallel, pipe it with, um, with a file, with a um, cat command or some other command, pipe it over to this either wake and you can shut on multiple computers. How's that? That's pretty cool, huh? Then you can make your own little bash script. Bad ass. Anyways, um, here's a short little video. Um, stay tuned because I'm going to be showing some particularly cooler stuff as um, I progress through these videos. And I hope you um, stick stick watching with my channel and please subscribe. Oh, it's up here. Subscribe. Okay. Thank you. And on to the video. So I'm logged into my main computer now. The main server node, what I call Alpha. And right here in this folder, you can see there's a file called Mac Ether. Now, when I open this file, it has a list of MAC addresses for three 1U Blade servers that I'm running. So I ha already have the command I ran. Now you can actually do this multiple ways. I'm running cat on Mac Ether and I'm piping it to Parallel and Parallel is going to a program called Ether Wake and then I have two NIT devices, so, either, so ETH or Ethernet 1 is actually connected to the clusters on a gigabit switch. Ethernet 0 is actually connected to a gateway through the internet. But that's a whole other thing. There's no routing involved with that. Just two um, different Ethernets. Um, well, some routing. Okay, so anyways, you can run it like that. Let's see. Or you can run it like this, and just pipe and just um, redirect the input the input from the file with parallel. All right. Okay. So we're gonna run the program, just catting it out, and I'm um, taking that output, pumping it into the parallel input, which itself is pumping into either wake and it's running an iteration for each line from the output file. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my rack, see what I'm working with. Yep, so I got two quad core Xeons with four gigs of RAM right here. At the bottom right here I still don't have a rail for this. This is my um, quad core Opteron with two gigs of RAM. There's my gigabit ethernet switch and my KVM switch. And um, everything's cut on with my American DJS switching module. So um, I'm going to go right here, my old clicky keyboard, and I'm going to run. Now I'm going to hurry back over here because all of them are going to turn on. And run the application. You can 
see both of those are on now. This one's on. All the servers are running. So remember parallel. Also this command will allow you to run instances of um, applications on multiple computing nodes. Really cool. And this comes with the standard GNU utilities. Okay, so this is Big R Dub Ya yeah? and I'm out. Y'all take care. Later. I get down on all fours. That's a lie, baby.